Hey guys and welcome to another video of The Guide, our tutorial series on FIFA 19. I'm Benjamin, also known as Taz, and in today's video I'm going to explain to you a technique which is going to help you in chance creation, counter attacking, but also to be more secure in build up play. And I'm talking about how you can initiate runs by your teammate and I guess this technique is already quite known but in this video I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in detail so how you do it and what you have to keep in mind when you're doing it but also I'm going to explain a little bit of twist which is not as known as and in the end I'm going to give you an overview about the different scenarios and situations where you would want to use this feature and how you can take the most advantage out of it. So make sure to watch this video till the end. To initiate a run by your teammate, you have to press L1 or LB and aim with the left stick towards the player that should start the run. If you've done this correctly, he is going to start a run. So this has some implications. First of all, for at least a brief moment, you have to dribble into the direction where the player is that should start the run. And this makes it a little bit more complicated because you have to keep in mind in what kind of directions you can turn into without losing the ball to the opponent. But it is not as hard as it sounds because most of the time you want to dribble in that direction anyways because you want to play a pass into that direction. Second, as you might have noticed, the L1 LB button is not only used for initiating runs by your teammates but also for position dribbling. And this means that you have to make sure that you press the L1 LB button only shortly because otherwise you're going to end up in a position dribbling but this is also not a huge issue. So one thing that you're going to notice in the clips that I'm going to show you is that sometimes I press the L1 or LB button multiple times. And the reason is that I want to make sure that I trigger the run of the correct teammate. Because you have to balance out your dribbling and the direction that you're aiming with the left stick, I do it multiple times because that way I'm sure that at some point I had the aiming with the left stick correct so that the teammate that I want to do the run is actually triggered by the use of the L1 or LB button. So now before we come to the how to use it section and the different scenarios, I'm going to explain a little tweak which is going to make it easier for you to use it in certain situations. Because you can actually trigger a run of your teammate before you have actually accepted the ball. So when you play a pass to a teammate, you have a time window where you can use the left stick to aim towards the player that should start the run and use L1 LB to trigger the run and then accept the ball and then you can play the pass. So this makes it a little bit easier for you since your player is not in ball possession, you don't have to worry about the dribbling but instead you can focus on aiming correctly with the left stick. The first use of this technique is the most obvious one I would say. It is that you try to trigger a run of an attacking player and when he's about to surpass the defensive line you play a long ball onto him. There are two main variants of it. The first one is that you play the long ball straight down the line and you can see this in this example. My winger is barely on the screen, there's only his foot visible but you can still trigger the run of him and this is what I'm doing at the moment. You can see I press L1 LB and I aim with the left stick towards him and by that I trigger his run and then I continue to dribble and this is what I meant. It's not a big deal that you have to aim towards this player. You can still continue in that direction because you want to play the pass and then I wait for the right moment. In this case I use the radar and we're going to have a dedicated video about this but you can see on the radar that my player is about to surpass his defender and this is the right moment to play the pass. I do so, I play a long through pass and it gets right to him and I'm able to play out this attack very nicely and in the end score a goal. The second variant is that you play a cross long ball and I did that in this example. You can see here that I'm in a central position and the defensive line is quite high up on the pitch and also very static and I see a winger in a very good position. When he's about to start a run there's a chance that he's going to surpass the defensive line and then I'm able to break through. So this is my plan. So what I do is when I receive the ball I start to trigger the run of this winger and I do this by aiming with the left stick towards this player pressing L1 and LB and then I wait. I want to see how this is going to develop. My player is starting the run and I think there's a good chance that when I play a pass to him that he's going to surpass the defender. So I played a lob through pass and in the end I created a very good goal scoring opportunity. Next up are counter attacks and obviously this is not totally different to long balls but now it's more about keeping a high pace in your counter attacks with your whole team and also in the central. 
So now after gaining ball possession, I play a quick pass onto my winger to initiate a counter attack. And long before he's about to accept the ball, I already trigger the run of the next player that I want to pass to. In this case my central midfielder and this is super important because you can see there's a lot of space right in front of him and by triggering his run I make sure that he's taking advantage of that space that he's starting a run. Especially because I most of the time have the instruction stay back on my central midfielders but by triggering his run I make sure that he's starting his run and I override his instruction. And this is key because otherwise there might be a chance that this player would be staying in this area, chilling a little bit, don't move and when you then play a through pass to him he would have to accelerate, start his run and this would lose your time and also would give the opponent player who's right behind him more chance, more time to catch up and this would slow down your counter attack. But I triggered the run and I did it quite early so now I can play a through pass and I'm in a very good situation because the player behind me has a lot of distance so this is always a better situation and now I trigger the run of the next teammate right in front of me as you can see pressing L1 or LB and aiming with the left stick towards this player I want this striker to penetrate the defensive line go in between so I can play the next through pass and I did and I end up with a very good situation to score a goal. The next topic is chance creation. One more time. This is not totally different to the other topics like long balls or counter attacking because you're going to create chances by that. But now we want to talk more about in a situation when you're much closer towards the goal and you use triggering runs to create a chance. So in this situation I see a wide gap in the defensive line and this is usually a good situation to trigger a run to play a through pass. In this situation preferably from a winger and here as you can see I'm triggering a run but I'm not quite sure if I hit the right player with it. So what I do now I play the pass and right after I did that I make sure that I trigger the run correctly because I do it one more time and this time I make sure that I'm aiming correctly with the left stick. I trigger the run of my winger, play a through pass and score the next goal. You cannot only use this technique to create chances in the end but also to improve your build up play because build up play in general is also about disrupting your opponent's defensive formation and for that you want to gain ground and you need pace for that. So in some situations you can use triggering runs to be a little bit quicker about it. So in this situation you can see there's a lot of space in front of my left back and also the distance to my teammates right in front of him is quite high. So I want to gain that ground and I also want to make sure that I have some easy passes available later so I play a through pass. And if I don't trigger the run before I play the pass my left back then has to accelerate and this means he will get to that pass later and this means that my opponent has more time to get a defensive player in a right position to put pressure on him. So that's why in this situation I trigger the run before I accept the ball with my center back and that way I make sure that my left back is already accelerated when I play the pass, he's already doing the run and he's in a much better position when he's receiving the pass. As you can see, triggering runs of teammates is a very important technique and can be used in all areas of the pitch. In the background you can see an example where a player did make a run on his own, but then stops. If I would have used L1 LB in that situation, I would have reinforced that run and made sure that he continues his run. This technique is so crucial because it does give you an influence on the behavior on the AI controlled players. It helps you to design your game, plays and opportunities as you wish. There is another technique which works similar but with the opposite outcome. You can call a teammate short which can be very helpful to cancel a run that you triggered. This is one of the next videos that I'm going to produce. So make sure to check out the video description to find the link to this video and all the other videos of the guide. You can also find the link to our brand new coaching website at which you get information about our private coaching offers with pro, top 100 and elite players. We put a lot of effort in these kind of videos. If you find this video helpful or our content in general it would be a big help if you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and also spread it around. Tell your friends about it because our aim is to make FIFA more enjoyable for everybody. Thanks for your support, keep a clean sheet, I'm out.